Hey everybody, JY here with another episode of Gamer Dan. Today I'll be doing level 2 in the Enemies of Rome campaign. Uh, this level is uh, medium difficulty, um, 6 or 7 out of 10. But just keep in mind, if you don't do this early rest strategy, the difficulty skyrockets to 8 or 9 out of 10. Because you're surrounded by two neighbors, and the yellow computer will basically attack you, I would say, 3 minutes game time with like 6 or 7 broadswords and they'll non-stop stream into your base, and then sometimes Brown will join in with the fun with uh, cavalry and uh, additional broadswords, and it just doesn't go well. Uh, in fact, usually on playthroughs, if uh, I find that Brown's joining in on the attack as well, then I just reroll and restart the level because it's too unfair, and you just take too much uh, heavy losses uh, if they both attack at the same time. And yeah, there's just an element of RNG, because if the computer doesn't, if both computers don't attack, as in just only yellow attacks, then you can still win, even without the early rush. I mean, it's difficult, but it's doable. It uh, becomes much more challenging if uh, both computers attack you. And then, even if you do, uh, yeah, even if you do go ahead and defeat yellow with a no rush strategy, uh, you're still not clear out of the woods yet, because um, if you then go ahead and attack Brown and you don't finish him off, it will trigger a non-stop wave of attacks from Brown as well. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff to deal with. Alright, my next round of villagers, I'm going to queue them up to chop wood. And I'm just destroying the houses here so my hoplites have more room to maneuver. There we go. This is good. Destroy this house too so I can move around more. Perfect. Alright, so I'll get some more berry gatherers next. And after that I'll start focusing on getting gold. So first we want to destroy all four of these barracks, which if you didn't do this rush, the computer would basically be non-stop producing from here. And of course they have a lot of uh, resources in their base as well. Alright, so now that that's finished off, I will now build a final tower in the enemy computer base to ensure victory. Like so. Huh, but it looks like there's not even any villagers left, so. Whatever. I don't even feel bad. Alright, so next I will start the wall off from over here. And then, yeah, I'll start farming. I'm going to ride berries pretty soon. Ah, shoot. Okay, I kind of screwed up this wall off here. Oh, doesn't matter. Okay, cool. So now I can just get out of here. Turn to my base a lot more carefree. Yeah, without the strat, you'll start getting attacked at three minutes in. It's pretty horrible. Unfair, unbalanced, and just terrible. I wonder if the. I forget if the hints actually say. Yeah, rely on them to protect your camp as you build defenses. That's actually bad advice. You should rely on them to uh, rush the computer. The strat makes things so much more comfortable and it's more reliable too. Because as mentioned, sometimes brown and yellow will attack you together. Um, there's a little RNG there, I think, 
if the computer decides you're weak, then they'll just there's a small percentage they'll just gang up on you. But with this approach, um, in my playthroughs, it looks like Brown doesn't even bother attacking you. Alright, so we're just gonna move down over here to continue gathering stone. So I can build up a nice set of defenses. Like so. Alright, I gathered all my berries. So we'll switch them to farming. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt to um, do some additional berry gathering up here. At least until... Uh, at least until I get to the Iron Age, I guess. Extend the wall off here. Oh, now I'm supply blocked, okay. Go ahead and get medium walls as well. him to actually get stone. Also wanted to build a second academy. I'll go ahead and build a couple more houses here. Okay, this guy will... Get some stone. This guy will build a government center next for upgrades. And now I will pump out like, a couple more hoplites to replenish my uh, my weakened ones. All right, and I'll build two more houses to max out. Then next, I'll continue my wall off over here. Uh, reason being, this way I can safely chop all these trees and not have to worry about it. Okay, in the meantime, I need way more food. Oh, but I'm so low on wood, though. Where'd all my wood choppers go? Hmm. Maybe I should have um yeah, have some of these guys chop wood instead. That's what I'm thinking now. Alright, but I just need 130 more food now to get to the Iron Age. Great. So that'll put me at seven farms. There we go. So now we're advancing to the Iron Age. Now we're just cutting the trees into the computer base. I'll actually go ahead and uh, because sometimes the computer is pretty smart and it'll actually like destroy these walls and if you're mining here it'll come and attack you. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do a wall off here and see if that helps at all. Meantime just keep pumping out uh, some hoplites and then I'll be working on my upgrades. Find out all the gold there, so now I can go to the get the gold here. And I don't need as many of these these guys. Yeah, I'll just work on uh, chopping my way through here.
Okay, so we'll upgrade to Phalanx first. We'll get Aristocrats next. Or Aristocracy. Not sure the right way to pronounce that. You can even get Guard Towers to get stronger towers here for defense back at home. Although that's, uh, I think that's more of a nice to have. It's not necessary, I feel like. There's not that much stone on this level, so. It's better to just be offensive than defensive. Yeah, I'll get the wheel. Yeah, there's quite a few upgrades that I want. And troops that I need. But you can see the uh, ground computer is very passive. It hasn't attacked because uh, yellow's been destroyed. Um, that's been a consistent behavior pattern I've seen. So this is definitely why you want an early rush. You don't have to worry about anything else. All right. Now we're at eight. We're gonna hit nine. Okay, but I'm just gonna go ahead and risk uh, getting just a little bit of stone. Yeah, I fully expect the uh, computer to come in and uh, steamroll those stone miners. Right, in the meantime though, get scale armor, get metal working, and get bronze shield when I can. Also get coinage, so I can get more gold. Eventually I'll work my way up to three academies. I still just need to um, save up all the food for all the up different upgrades that I want. There's so many different good upgrades. Like logistics, which will increase my supply. And then wood upgrade so I can get more range on my towers. Yeah, just lots of different good stuff. But I mean, alchemy and ballistics and the wood upgrade, I mean, they're not critical. The main thing is you're going to be winning through your army of um, phalanxes, so don't lose focus on that. Oh, still only at eight farms. For some reason I thought I was at I was going to be at 9 at this point. Okay, but now I'm, now I'm at 9. Okay, get like two more uh, gold miners actually. Get attack upgrade. And yeah, I'm being a little cautious here because as soon as you attack brown and if it doesn't work then they're going to start swarming units in. And I think it also acts as a trigger for red to start attacking you as well. So there is some, some level of risk there. Ah oh man, I'm still really starved for food. I have too much wood. Okay, that's fine. I guess I'll build a new village center here. So I can pump out villagers just in case this place collapses or I need to add more defenses here. Right, so I'll skip these two upgrades for now. This is going to take a while to get uh, centurions, so I'm not going to bother. And then I guess guard towers are nice to have, but not essential. I'll build a third academy. And then, yeah, I'm gonna call it good. And then just max out my supply. And 
then I will just take most of my army, but I'll keep a few guys here to block the entrance to my village. You want to be pretty cautious about that, because in previous playthroughs um, I sent the entire army, and that actually was very bad. Because then Red actually attacked at the same time and then ran into my base. I'll go ahead and get a guard tower as well. Can do a little bit more damage. Here comes Red. Looks like they finally decided to move out and attack. Oh, and I'm out of gold. Oh, I can get this gold now, which is great. Oh, and here comes Brown too. So it looks like they decided to attack me first. So, whatever. So that looks like a scary army, but your phalanxes are much stronger, so... The only risk are these uh, ballistas, and they're going to be accompanied by evil enemy priests as well. So that's really the only thing you have to really watch out for. So I just lost a bunch of troops, unfortunately. I need to rebuild those. I'm gonna start hitting the enemy computer. They're gonna try to run into my base. I'm just gonna do a full seal here. Punish the computer. Right, keep some of these guys here for the wall off. These ph phalanxes will chop through the towers like butter. Which is quite satisfying. Yeah, if you attack with just hoplites, um, it doesn't go well for you. But with phalanxes, it goes great. Yeah, they just chop through everything like butter. So satisfying. In fact, I'll just mine gold in front of this guy. Oh. Okay, what a jerk. I'll get my revenge later though. That's fine. I'll destroy this house so I have more room to maneuver. There we go. House is destroyed. A lot more room to move. I can actually start destroying stuff. Barracks, and then Brown will be destroyed. Yeah, and then I'll be on my way to uh, winning. Then the next step. Will be to build some siege workshops. Oh, looks like a uh, computer actually ran inside. It's interesting. Okay, whatever. Then we'll just go in here and destroy. Yeah, to be on the safe side, I'll build a tower inside here just to make sure the computer's taken care of. Alright, just to be on the safe side, just build a tower here. Okay, not sure how he 
how this guy snuck in. Is there a... Is there a hole here? Oh, there is. Wow, okay. Okay, so I'll just build one more tower here then. Alright, I thought I'd built a siege workshop somewhere, yes I did. Okay, perfect. So we'll just build a couple of catapults. Or actually, we'll, um, we'll head over to the right. There's more room to maneuver over there. Chop some more stone, though. Oh, but actually, I don't even have uh, enough supply for additional villagers. So I, I'll just build the siege workshop here. Just a move inside, free up some supply, and then yeah. Oh, evil priests, sickening. Right, whatever. Actually, I'm just gonna charge in. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So many powerful troops, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to destroy this government center. Screw it. Doesn't even matter if priests are converting me. There's too many guys. I thought I was building an extra academy here just to prove my point. Alright, so that's it. So to recap, rush yellow. Your great. That will basically pacify brown as well. Don't attack brown until you get the phalanx upgrade and all your other troop upgrades like aristocracy. And then steamroll brown. Once your flanks are secured and you have a gigantic army of phalanxes, move out and destroy red. In fact, you could probably move out and just destroy red without even bothering with brown, but they might counterattack and you might have to deal with like a base trade situation, so it's easier to do it this way. Anyways, that's been another episode of Gamer Dead. Hope you found that helpful and entertaining, and please be sure to like and subscribe so I can get a million subscribers. Make an obscene amount of money plugging advertisements for sponsors such as uh, Burger King and their wonderful flame broiled whoppers and retire on a tropical island someday. Thank you.